what's up it has been such a long time since I've sat down and just talked to you guys have some like girl time and share with you my faves not going to be a favorite of the whole entire week but it's gonna be a compilation of things that I've been loving for the past couple of weeks I know it has been about a month I think it's going on a month since I posted a beauty related video so I first want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel as well as many of you who have stuck around and um, yeah it just really means so much to me YouTube is definitely just my favorite hobbies I absolutely love filming and posting videos I really want to try to get back on a regular filming schedule hopefully it will be Sunday Monday and Friday with vlogs going up on Monday. If you guys have any video requests, please let me know. Leave them in the comment area down below. I'm sure many of you guys know that we were on vacation. We went to New York and Washington DC and I was daily vlogging. So if you guys haven't caught up with those, I'm going to leave the playlist down below in case you guys are interested. So with that being said, I hope you guys are having a really great start to the summer. Sorry if I look a little bit sweaty right now. I actually just came back from a belly dancing class that was um, instructed by Maite Garcia, which was amazing. It was awesome. I had a really fun time. That vlog will be up on Monday, and I'm sure many of you guys know who Maite Garcia is. She was actually married to Prince back in the day. She also has a um, website which is MaiteRescue.com. I know she rescues animals. I'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description box. It was just a lot of fun. I honestly, like, I'm embarrassed to watch the footage because I know. I haven't danced in years, was really off key, my body was like really stiff, but hey, you know, it was my first time dancing like in 10 years. Has it been 10 years? I think it's even been more than that. Sorry, I know that was a really long intro and I promise I'm gonna jump into my faves already, but in case you guys already haven't, please make sure you go and hit the subscribe button, which is right over here, or yeah, I think it's right over here, and give this video a like if you guys enjoy faves and or nays types of videos, and yeah, let's jump into my faves. So the first item I wanted to mention is the Ambient Light Correcting Primer from the brand Hourglass and this is in the shade Mood Light. I purchased, not purchased, I actually redeemed this from Sephora, you know those like 100 point perks. I was seriously blown away by this. I just apply this right on my T-zone and it helps keep me mattified. It's supposed to help blur your imperfections and smooth your skin's texture for a flawless makeup application, which I absolutely agree with. It does all of that. I will say though that this doesn't do anything for my enlarged pores on my nose so I have to use some sort of silicone based primer to kind of fill that in but other than that I've been really really loving this I've been using it for about two weeks that's how yeah this thing lasted me about two weeks I have just a little bit left in here when we were on vacation I brought two CC creams as well as two different types of foundations let me just tell you I didn't even touch the other foundations the only two I used were these two from the brand it cosmetics this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, which also contains SPF 50. I'm in between shades right now. I've been mixing medium and tan together to get my perfect color, which I am wearing today as well. It holds up beautifully, especially with the Hourglass. Uh, primer and it also contains SPF 50 which is really really important it's important to also protect your skin from sun damage it gives really good coverage and it just feels really lightweight on the skin that's what I really love about it and I have a full review on the it cosmetic CC cream which I'm gonna link down below for you guys in case you guys haven't seen it and are curious how it applies on the skin picking up the Laura Mercier this is called the loose setting powder translucent I'm so glad I got the little travel size this is about 23 I think 22 23 dollars at Sephora and I absolutely love this product for baking underneath the eyes like to set your under eye concealer and also to kind of just sharpen up your contour go ahead and place my concealer and then I'll just place some of this like right underneath my eyes let it set sometimes I'll let it set for about between 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll just kick it off with a fluffy brush like this and it does such a good job of setting my under eye area. I haven't even touched some of my other setting powders for underneath the eye like this one from Kat Von D. I normally use the yellow shade. You want to make sure that you fully dust off the product because you can get a little bit of that flashback with this. There were a couple pictures where it was like super white right over here. I've been going back to this product which is my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade uh, NC20 and this 
is, I'm gonna say is like my go-to under eye concealer if I'm gonna go to an event or if I'm, if I know I'm gonna be out for the whole day and I don't want my concealer to crease. I know some people say that this is, a, it can be like really thick. I feel like this has a really nice consistency where it doesn't crease up on me. It normally gets so oily that if I use say my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer underneath my eyes, this thing will shift around on me even if I set it, even if I bake it, it still will shift. Whenever I use my MAC Pro Longwear, it doesn't do that and I think these two, these two right here are such a good combination. Becca times Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, this is the one where Jaclyn Hill collaborated with Becca Cosmetics, obviously. Here you have three blushes as well as two highlighters. And the two blushes, which I am also wearing today, are these two. This one called Amaretto and this one called Rose Spritz. I kind of just mix them together. Love the formulation of the blushes. They're like so super soft, really pigmented. And they do have a bit of a shimmer to them. Or not really shimmer, like more of a satin type of finish. It looks so beautiful together on the skin. I think this definitely will go with any type of skin tone. And also for the highlighters, the one I have been just gravitating to, Prosecco Pops, which I am wearing today on the high points of my cheek will give you that bam like that glow super intense it is so pretty it just comes out so beautifully especially on pictures it looks really nice in person I really really love it I use it with the um, Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush and I just sweep it like right on the high points of my cheeks it just gives such a beautiful glow I absolutely think that this palette is worth the money lashes and I am wearing them today on my eyes. These are from the brand House of Lashes and these are in the style called Boudoir. I'm gonna show you guys how they look. Um, they are a little bit full so they give you a bit of drama which I really love. I think lashes just open your eyes and they just give your eyes like that extra glam. I don't feel like these are really heavy. That's another thing I like about it. I don't feel like I have some sort of like hood over my eyes. And they just really complete the whole look. Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. It's one of my favorites. I just love how warm the colors are. It was just like my go-to every day. I am wearing it today as well. I think I have Peanut Butter just right into the crease area and I have uh, spread the love just all over the lid something really simple it's a really like hassle-free palette one of my go-to looks which if you guys would like to see a probably a tutorial on it for my go-to look when we were on vacation I would use peanut butter right into the crease and then I would use this one which is the pure eye polish in the color what color are you in the color silk which is a beautiful rose gold color and I have a whole review on these like review swatch video on these I'm gonna link that down below as well this is so super beautiful. Once it sets on the eye, like if you just place it all over the lid, it just, it glows. Like it shimmers. Out of all of the eye polishes, this is definitely one of my favorites. And I really love the formula of it because it's so easy to work with. This next product was actually a rediscovery. Recommended by my girl Lizzie. What will Lizzie do here on YouTube? She says it's a really good one, especially to help cancel out any pigmentation on your lips. This is by the brand Sigma. This is called Lose the Halo Lip Concealer. And I think the problem the first time I got this was that I literally applied just way too much of it where it just didn't look right on my lips. But now all I do is I just dab my, like literally just dab my finger in it and I'll just gently pat it onto my lips. So when you go ahead and apply your liquid lipstick, say like this one from Too Faced, which I am going to talk about in a second, it really does show the true shade of the lip product. These two lipsticks right here were like my go-tos. I love the colors. This first one is from Too Faced Cosmetics. It's called Queen Bee. This is a, what is this? A, oh no, this is called the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Matte Longwear Lipstick. It also does have a doe foot applicator, mauve pink with a hint of lilac undertone to it. It's such a beautiful color. I am wearing it today on the lips. And this is a long wearing liquid lipstick, which of course, if you have, if you guys don't exfoliate or moisturize your lips, it will enhance the cracks in your lips. So make sure you go ahead and do that before applying it. Another one which I love so much is this one from the brand ColourPop. 
and this is in the shade Beeper. So here's a swatch of Beeper, which is a mauve tone, but it has a bit of that brown to it as well. And then here's a swatch of um, Queen Bee, so you guys can see the difference. I absolutely love the ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks. I forgot the exact name of it, but I really, really love these because they're really inexpensive. I believe it's six dollars. This one from Too Faced is expensive. It's like twenty-two dollars. For this color, it's one of my favorites, so I think it's it's worth the money. So yeah, that is everything I wanted to share with you guys for my Sunday faves. This is, again, a compilation of the past couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to share what items you have been loving or not loving, please let me know in the comment area down below. Don't forget to leave any video requests for any upcoming videos. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, and Twitter, and Snapchat, as well as don't forget to go and hit subscribe and give this video a big like if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.